गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल स्टार्ट द सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ आवर सिलेबस दैट इज चैप्टर टू इज मैटर अराउंड प्योर इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वॉट इज मैटर सम बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द मैटर द फेज ट्रांसफर्स ऑफ मैटर स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर्स एंड द टेम्परेचर स्केल्स एंड सम फिजिकल प्रोसेसेस of the phase transfers of matter now in this chapter we are going to learn the classification of matter how the matter is classified clear so let's start the new chapter now see matter is classified as pure substances and mixture now the pure substances are further classified as elements and compounds the pure substances are further classified as elements and compounds elements and compounds okay then the elements are further classified as metal non metals and metalloids the elements are further classified as metals non metals and metalloids Metal is first classified as pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are classified as elements and compounds. Okay, elements are further classified as metals, non-metals, and metalloids, and the compounds are further classified as organic compounds and inorganic compounds. Clear? Then what about the mixtures? Mixtures are classified as homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture okay now see homogeneous mixture means what homogeneous mixture means the constituent elements are dissolved very uniformly constituent elements are dissolved uniformly now homogeneous mixture we can take the example of solution homogeneous mixture is an example of solution and heterogeneous mixture is classified into colloids and suspension see homogeneous mixture is classified into the solutions and colloids clear now now we will discuss some introduction about or some information more information about the elements and compounds clear so you can take the snapshot of this see pure substances are classified as now first we will see the pure substance what is pure substance pure substance are homogeneous Pure substances are homogeneous 
नॉन मेटल्स कैन बी इन द स्टेट ऑफ सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैसेस सो दे आर जनरली इन सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैसियस स्टेट ओके नॉन मेटल्स कैन बी इन सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैसियस स्टेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कार्बन कार्बन इज सॉलिड कार्बन इज अ नॉन मेटल इट इज सॉलिड ब्रोमीन ब्रोमीन इज लिक्विड एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑक्सीजन एंड हाइड्रोजन दे आर एट गैसेस वी कैन राइट एग्जाम्पल कार्बन इज सॉलिड एट रूम टेम्परेचर ब्रोमीन इज लिक्विड एट रूम टेम्परेचर एंड वी कैन से द गैसेज लाइक हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन ओके आर गैसेस सो नॉन मेटल्स कैन बी सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैसेज है रूम टेम्परेचर क्लियर सेकेंड मेटल्स आर गुड कंडक्टर now metals have generally the properties of luster luster means shiny okay shiny surfaces okay so metals have generally
See, non-metals are generally have not having the luster surfaces. That means non-metals do not have the shiny surfaces. Except iodine. Iodine is having the shiny surface, or we can say iodine. The crystal of iodine having shine. Clear? The next is metals are malleable and ductile. Metals are. Now, what is malleable and ductile? Now, malleable or we can say malleability is the property by which the metal can be drawn into the thin sheets. Okay? Okay? By hammering the metal, by hammering the metal, the metals can be drawn into the thin sheets. Ductility means what? Ductility or ductile property means the metals can be drawn into the thin wires. Okay? I am repeating again. Malleability means by hammering the metal, the metals can be drawn into thin sheets, and ductility means the metals can be drawn into the thin wires. Okay, and exactly opposite of metals, non-metals do not have. Metals are having the properties of sonorous. Metals are sonorous in nature. Metals are sonorous. Metals are sonorous in nature. Sonorous means what? If metals are hammered, okay, there can be a sounds. Okay, sounds is generated. If metals are hammered, then the sounds are generated. That property is known as sonorous. And non-metals are do not have property of sonorous. Okay. Then metals. Generally have one, two, or three electron in their outermost shell. Okay, there can be a question: How we can identify whether the given substances are metal and given substances are non-metal? What is the difference between the metal and non-metal? So we can take one more point that metals have generally one, two, or three electron in its outermost shell. Non-metals are having more than three electrons in their outermost shell. Okay. Metals have generally one, two, or three electrons in their outermost. Okay, and non-metal cell more than three electrons in their outermost cell. Okay. 
ओके मेटल्स जनरली हैव वन टू और थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन इन देर आउटर मोशन नॉन मेटल्स हैव मोर देन थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन इन देर आउटर मोशन ओके वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बाई द एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन मेटल वी कैन टेक एनी मेटल फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम 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 इज है Sodium is having atomic number 11, so its electronic configuration can be written like 2 comma 8 comma 1. See, it is having one electron in its outer motion, so it is comes under metal. For example, magnesium. One more example, magnesium has atomic number 12, so its electronic configuration can be 2 comma 8 comma 2. See, two electron in its outer motion. For example, we can take aluminium. Aluminium having atomic number 13, so its electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 3. See, one electron, two electron, and three electron. And we know that sodium, magnesium, and aluminium are metal. Okay? We can take examples of non-metals like <coughs> carbon. Carbon is having atomic number 6. Carbon is having atomic number 6. So the electronic configuration of carbon will be 2.4. The electronic configuration of carbon will be 2.4. See, non-metals having more than three electron in their outer motion. Clear? So this is most important point to distinguish between metals and non-metals. It is very very important point to distinguish between metals and non-metals. Metals are generally having one, two, or three electron in their outer motion, and non-metals are having more than three electron in their outer motion. Very important point, and this point would help you in your next classes to distinguish between the metals and non-metals. Clear? You can write. Okay, so today we have discussed about some basic properties of metals and non-metals. Now tomorrow in next class we will discuss what are the metalloids and remaining part of the chapter. Thank you very much.